Okay, so we have Karmic Justice. We have Obstacles. Deception. Hidden Enemies. Divine Connection. And then we have Karmic Friend. So what I was thinking, you know, this video that I just did, I wanted to pull some energy on that person. These are this is someone that this person ended up cutting off. Whoever this person is that you are, um, this could be a soulmate, your higher higher level soulmate. This could be your twin. You have to take what resonates and leave what does not. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. And um, this was someone that this person was attached to. And they could have cut that person off, distanced themselves from that person. They weren't attached to them like that anymore. And um, they were trying to bring obstacles in this person's life. They had hidden motives. <clears throat> this is hidden emotions that popped off. So they could have knew that this person had hidden emotions for you. And um, they knew about this divine connection. So they did something deceptive. They, you know, kind of hooked this person up with someone or so someone set them up with someone that was like a... Um, a sex demon and they knew this but they wanted to have that person stuck because they seen that person distancing themselves from them things like that and they knew about the divine connection this is a karmic friend that this person was attached to as they distanced themselves from that person they didn't realize that or they didn't think nothing of it this person could have knew that person's family as well and they were placing different spell work over that person's family the only difference is they were detached from that person so it's like they had an inside person close to the person family, close to that person, and they were working together, collaborating behind the scenes. But this family didn't know. That person did not know that this person was the one who was causing obstacles for them because they had to distance themselves from them. This was somebody that was trying to set this person up, could have wanted to rob this person as well, or they just set this person up with that person. It's like as you're attached to a person and you don't know they're a hidden enemy and this is a frenemy. They see you, you know, coming up. They see you going towards a whole nother direction. They see you being more smart minded. You're saving and things like that. So they want to secretly one up you. And they could have been setting this person up wanting to rob them, but then they ended up detaching from them. And that friend, this common friend didn't expect that. So they sent a, a person, I would give her say a decoy. They sent somebody in to confuse this person and place something on them to try to have them stuck. Yeah, and this was hidden to this person. They did not know. The moon card and unknown is here. They didn't even possibly know that person was offered to spell work. And they could have knew the family for a long time, so the family wasn't thinking nothing of it. But they confused the whole family and they confused this person. With whoever they had them, you know, clicked up with or met up with. And they just slept with that person because that person was someone that was very uh, attractive or something like that. And they didn't look a certain way. This karmic friend knew that about that person. They knew this person's weaknesses and they knew this person's strengths. So they figured they would send somebody in a lustful energy towards that person and they fell for it. Yeah, nine of cups is here. And then King of Swords. Yeah, this person cut them off because they were happy. They wanted to be happy. 
So that's why they cut their cut them off. It's like once they cut them off, that the this friend realized that that person was more happy with fulfillment. And they got pissed off and mad and they want that person to go through obstacles. So they, they plotted behind the scenes and set something up. And this person was at the Nine of Cups, you know? They weren't thinking anything of it. But they ended up getting tempted by the devil. Yeah, Ten of Cups is here. They knew this person would go from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. So if this person was watching you as wish fulfillment, they knew this person was your ultimate happiness. Or you were this person's ultimate happiness or something like that. And they figured that's why they cut them off. But this person was just trying to find happiness in their self. It's like this person knew a lot of stuff that was hidden that your person probably didn't know. Yeah, Three of Cups is here. And then two of pentacles is here. This person was whoever they were attached to. They were going back and forth to, uh, to this friend. And then going back and forth to that person. They were juggling. Them and their friend. And the friend knew. The only, thing, the only difference is your person didn't know. Yeah, page of wands in the reverse. They didn't know any of that. Page of Wands, yeah. This is like bad communication. Yeah, this could have been why this person was not communicating with you. They weren't even in communication with their friend, so it's like they didn't know. But this friend knew because they sent this person to them. And they were going back and forth, giving that person information and things like that. Yeah, Six of Swords is here. They had to distance themselves from that person. There was no more communication. They weren't even communicating with it. This is someone that they don't even communicate with. They distanced themselves from that person. Yeah, so it's like whoever they were attached to, they would least expect that that's the person that they're going back and forth with. Feeding that person information. Doing a whole bunch of stuff behind the scenes. That's that's very deceptive to cause obstacles for that person. Yeah, the strength card is here and then two of cups is here. And then four of pentacles is here. It's like they knew that once this person distanced themselves from them, they will partner up with you and they will grow. So they had to find some type of way to hold on to that person. Four Pentacles is here. And it was through another person. Because this person is a shapeshifter. This person is like an energy vampire. They're drained, harvesting feasts. They're offering to spell work, different stuff like that. Your person didn't know. Yeah, they were trying to distract this person, slow this person down. Nine of Pentacles is here. After they distanced themselves from them and they weren't communicating with them like that. Whatever communication they were getting, they were pissed off. Even if they were still connected to this person's family. So they had to do something to hold on to this person through another person that they were sexually involved with, going back and forth with. Trying to drain that person's energy for Pentacles is here. Trying to harvest and feast on that person through someone else. Yeah, four cups and nine of wands is here. Whatever they were doing over and over again, it was rejected. Four cups is here. This is someone that's literally dealing with some type of abandonment issues and they felt rejected by that person. So they sent somebody else in to harvest and feast on that person and they were shape shifting in that person's energy. To try to harvest and feast on your twin. Yeah, I don't know why I said twin. This is someone that you have a divine connection with, so this could be your twin. Yeah, judgment is here. This person is under judgment. Whoever this king of swords is, 
whoever this person is that they were going back and forth with, they're receiving karma. They're under judgment for whatever they did because it was rejected. And they figured since they weren't in communication with that person, they had distanced their stuff from that person, that person wouldn't know. Yeah, they figured this was hidden. High Priestess is here. And then the devil, yeah. This person went to a toxic uh, high priestess. Yeah, they went to someone that was like, they use um, spirituality in a negative way. And they were placing spell work over this person, but it was rejected. They did it over and over again. And it's like they're under judgment. They're receiving karma. Karmic justice is here. For this karmic friend who sat back and um, what well, judgment is here for this karmic friend, karmic justice is here for you and this person. Because whatever happened, it's like this was supposed to build this person up, build you up, especially if y'all share the same soul. That's why everything was rejected, because that person needed to learn lessons. You need to learn lessons as well. On how energy works, spiritual attacks, different things like that, learning how to protect your energy. Physically, mentally, and spiritually. Yeah, justice is here. That situation is being balanced out. It's like this needs to happen in order for justice to be served. You learning how to protect your energy, learning lessons. This person needed to learn lessons. Because they weren't woke. Even if you hadn't got woke before this person and they weren't around you, you weren't communicating with this person, this is what was going on behind the scenes and they needed to get woke. They needed to be more aware. Ace of Pentacles is here and Three of Pentacles is here. Yeah, in order to come towards you, have a new beginning with you, be abundant with you and built with you. Yeah, the world is here, but they need to complete a cycle out so to be able to walk into a new cycle, to have changes coming in, new beginnings, abundance. And then five of ones in the reverse. Yeah, they couldn't have no conflict could come to, come to that new beginning. They couldn't bring any conflict around you. Five of ones in the reverse. You're not someone that's at the five of ones. Yeah, they could have been ashamed to come towards you after they found this out as well. Yeah, the death card is here. They needed to go through a transformation because they were left ashamed. They needed to put an end to a situation. They didn't know that that person had an attached something to them, this karmic friend, and they used another person to do it. They didn't know. Yeah, they possibly didn't know how far this go. Yeah, Six of Wands is here. Yeah, they needed to end something out, transform, go through a transformation in order to have victory and success. Six of Wands is here. Because this is someone that's very high ranking. This is someone that is held high in the spiritual realm with the Six of Wands. But they needed to end something out. They needed to go through a transformation because they weren't physically woke. Yeah, three of swords is here. And then ace of swords is here. Yeah, they were heartbroken at the three of swords, depressed over what decisions that they had made wrong when they found out the truth, when they gained truth and clarity. It's something through a three of swords that they needed to go through. Because they needed to accept things for what it is. They did not know they needed to get woke. They needed to transform. And put an end to start something new. To bring in new beginnings. They needed to end out all toxicity. And experience a rebirth. Yeah, King of Pentacles is here. 
And then the hangman is here. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Why did I know that was going to pop out? Yeah, it's like you and this person needed to get enlightened. You and this person needed to get more grounded with this hangman energy. Yeah, you could have got this person enlightened. It's like you were sunk. You were placed around this person for a reason. Y'all have a divine connection. Y'all have a purpose together. Cycles needed to be ended out and completed. The hangman, king of pentacles, and queen of pentacles. This person needed to get enlightened. That's why they were feeling stuck. They could have been watching you feeling stuck. As they didn't know they were being deceived. By a karmic friend. King of Wands is here. Yeah, there's seven of Wands. This person could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This person was creating blockages for them and thinking that they were going to come towards you. They knew this person had a lot of passion and attraction towards you and they were trying to keep that person blocked off. They figured if they keep that person in a low vibrational energy with that entity attached to them, they would never come towards you. That person would be stuck. That person would be stuck in some type of commitment that was an illusion and a confusion. Yeah. Knight of Swords is here. Whatever this person did, everything backfired with the Seven of Wands and then Knight of Swords. They're pissed off and mad because their plans backfired. Whatever obstacle they wanted that person to go through, it only backfired. All the deception that they wanted this person to receive, all the obstacles they wanted this person to go, it all backfired. Karmic Justice is here. Yeah, Two of Wands is here. It's like they're at a stalemate. They don't know which way to go. And they're in that same energy that they wanted this person. The same energy that they wanted you. This person tried to do something to wrap you and this person up to feel stuck. And it's like your person not even thinking nothing of it as they're distant from that person, not even communicating with that person. And they did something to try to have you and this person stuck. Doing all of this behind the scenes on top of trying to create obstacles for this person by sending somebody their way. This person was somebody that was very desperate to keep this person at a stalemate. Yeah, and confused. Seven of Cups is here. They want this person to be in illusions and confusions. The Will of Fortune is here. They want this person to be confused about who they're destined to be with, their destiny, their purpose. Because they knew about this Will of Fortune. The Hermit is here. And then the tower is here. And then three of wands is here. Yeah. It's like this person made this decision after this person chose to like isolate themselves from them. This person could have knew, you know, for a long time about this divine connection. Then all of a sudden this person just isolated themselves from them. This caused a tower moment. For whoever this karmic friend is. But they didn't show it. They thought they had to one-up this person. With spell work. Yeah, five of cups is here. Yeah. They didn't believe something. They're at the five of cups and regret. Whoever your person is. They're ashamed. They're embarrassed. They possibly in this five of cups energy. And they don't even want to face you. You could have spoke the truth. But it was to help that person, not to make that person look bad or feel bad. To notice what was going on around them so they can overcome that. Yeah, King of Cups is here. Yeah, you were only showing love to this person. And this person possibly didn't, you know, they, they don't know that. They didn't realize that and they're in regret because you were only showing love to them. You were trying to help this person use their intuition. 
You wanted this person to be more intuitive. Eight of Wands is here. Yeah, and then, then also this karma friend, they're in regret because this person is in love with you and they want to come towards you. So whatever they were doing over and over again that was rejected, it's like they're sitting back at the Five of Cups in regret. Because everything was rejected. Four of Cups is here. Yeah, Eight of Cups is here. They're in regret because that person walked away and did not look back. That person is not in a confused mindset. Yeah, the musician is here. Yeah, they're in this musician energy. Knight of Wands is here. Yeah, Ten of Swords is here. It's like this person thought they were going to betray this person with a Knight of Wands energy. Somebody that they were having sex with came in quick at the Knight of Wands, had this person doing stuff without thinking, and they were this was the ultimate betrayal. They did it in a tricky, deceptive way. And that's why you're, this person did not think anything of it. You could have warned them before this happened to help this person. They didn't listen. They didn't know how to take in whatever it is that you were telling them, but you were speaking the truth. Truth that they weren't accustomed to. Yeah, Nine of Swords is here. And then the Empress is here. Six of Pentacles is here. Yeah, you expose somebody. Nine of Swords is like being exposed, dark night of the soul, slander, gossip, sleepless nights. So after you expose it, these are people that wanted to make you look crazy. All because you're someone that's divine. The person that you have this divine connection with, they didn't want them to see properly. That you were a divine being and you were trying to help them out of the darkness. Yeah, you were this person's equal. Six of Pentacles is here. You were trying to give to this person, help this person. And these are people that wanted to make you look crazy. Have that person all in their heads. They didn't spread it. Lies, rumors, gossip, and slander. That was not true. To betray this person. Ten of swords. They had this person at the nine of swords. Sleepless nights. All in their head about you. As you have to spoke the truth. Next thing you know, this person's at the ten of swords. Being betrayed. Backstabbed. Multiple times. The ultimate betrayal. It's like whatever they said, this person was able to come in quick, whoever this Knight of Wands energy is, and pin this person down at the Ten of Swords multiple times. Curse and hex this person. And they didn't know anything about it. You had them speaking the truth to this person. They didn't believe it. That's why they're in so much regret. Yeah, you spoke the truth. Queen of Swords is here. Yeah, these are people that, you know, wanted to spread gossip, make you look crazy for speaking the truth to this person. Yeah, Knight of Cups is here. And then Four of Swords is here. Yeah, they knew you were connecting with this person or you were in contact with this person. Knight of Cups and Four of Swords. And it's like you hadn't spoke the truth to this person, were genuine with this person, but they were not woke. Now they're in regret, ashamed, embarrassed. Yeah. The hair finest. They're realizing you were being loyal to them. If they hadn't separated their self from you and they were in isolation, they weren't around you, they were in solitude or away from you, they realized you were being loyal to them. Yeah, the food card is here. They want to come towards you after going through all of this betrayal. Yeah, Page of Swords is here. They have been watching you at the Page of Swords. So it's like as you, even after you spoke the truth, even all the obstacles that they wanted to throw your way for speaking the truth, this person was still watching you and you possibly didn't know. And they were supposed to so they can regain their strength. Whatever you had them went through, you inspired this person to grow. Because they were going through the similar, the same similar stuff too. The, the only difference is, is that you hadn't got woke before this person did. And they possibly did not even know that you were woke. Because it's like as you're woke and then you're talking to other people that are at the Seven of Cups and they're not woke, they're going to look at you as if you're crazy. And you just distance yourself from those type of people. Because you're not in the energy where you think the same.
Yeah, Nine of Pentacles is here. You're someone that can read energy. You're someone that's very intuitive. You're self-made, self-sufficient, independent, abundant. And you stay off to yourself, minding your business. Especially after you hadn't got woke. You have Seven of Swords and then Four of Wands is here. Yeah, this person has been watching you. They see you at the Nine of Pentacles and they're trying to strategize how can they come towards you. Ten of Wands is here. Yeah, this person is weighed down. This person wants to be happy. They were weighed down when a lot of stuff was illuminated to them. A lot of stuff was exposed and they start seeing stuff for what it is. Yeah, you make this person happy. And then Queen of Wands is here. Yeah, and then the lovers. It's like this person is only attracted to you and this person is in love with you. This is why they want to come towards you. So whatever was being done behind the scenes to make this person possessive, obsessive, and it's not a one's energy for that person, it did not work. This person only sees you. They look at you as someone that's a leader, someone that's very confident, someone that's a go-getter. And you're self-made. You're also someone that's very in tune, very spiritual. You're someone that's awake. Yeah, you made this person start looking at things a whole new way. Page of Pentacles is here. Queen of Cups. Yeah, this person realized that you were only showing love to them. And this person is in love with you. The Moon card is here. And then Two of Swords is here. <laughs> they don't want you to know this. They've been keeping this hidden. They're hiding that. And then Seven of Pentacles is here. Yeah, they want to build with you and invest with you. Guess we'll pull some from the um, Soul's Journey deck to see what lessons this person needed to learn. Self-esteem popped out. I possess gifts of... I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So this person needed to, you know, gain some type of self-esteem or they could have had self-esteem issues. And this is what attracted this low vibrational energy to be able to betray this person. They were dealing with some self-esteem issues. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So this person... They needed to learn to be more, more pers persistent. Acceptance. I am, I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. And then blame. I accept, I accept responsibility for my well-being. And then fear. I realize that I am testing my, my resolve to live in the energy of love. So this person could have been, you know, having fear, self-esteem issues, needing to be more uh, persistent. Needed to realize that they needed to look in the mirror with this blame card being here, accept the things that they cannot change so they can move forward. Yeah, because they were in fear about something. Yeah, they were in fear of love. Worry is here. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Take one more. Success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. So they needed to, you know, understand different lessons about love, different stuff about their self that they weren't paying attention to. 
Yeah, and surrender. I can release my need to control. This person could have had control issues and they needed to surrender to trying to control a situation or something like that. Because it was only keeping this person stuck on top of whatever hidden um, deception and obstacles that they were going through with this karmic friend. All because they knew this person had a divine connection. And they didn't want that person to have that. They were jealous of that. But karmic justice is here. Justice will be served for whatever happened behind the scenes. This person just needed to get woke. They needed to know. And that's why they were in regret. But they have to realize they can't they, they cannot change what that person did. They needed to isolate away from that person. And they thought that they isolated away from that person, and then boom. They would least expect that this person was partnering up with the same person that they had done distanced themselves from, a person that they could not trust. <laughs> 